my name is Green, and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. Flying this way, that's actually a really big challenge. Flying in third person. Anyway, we are going to head straight over to Sahara. Oh, actually, no, I actually need to be in this room, which is interesting. I think I left a box of stuff. No, I didn't leave any. I need my grass blocks because at Sahara... I have prepared everything that we need for the meeting room. That's right, we are now going to meet up with Iskow and Mumbo. And I need to let you guys in on a little secret that I've done. But I just need to... Oh, this is... I'm getting actually getting annoyed that I don't know where all my stuff is now. So I think at some point I'm going to have to go through this. Over here in Sahara, I have finished up the meeting room. And it's even got a little bit of secret. No one's here, so they can't do it. I've also finished this. We'll get we'll get onto that a bit later. But look, check this out. I've done redstone. Some proper redstone. No one helped me with this. They don't know. So, as you guys know, I kind of explained the plan before. I'm going to, during the meeting, pop down this, this button. Hopefully, these guys will sit where... Oh, that chair's gone. I need to put another chair there. But hopefully, these guys will sit in place, hit the button, and we all fall through into the infinity room. Now, here's the second, hopefully. I'm going to stand still because I know what's going to happen. But uh, these guys, and I know them, they're going to be walking around. And if you walk around a little bit too much, you're going to fall in the hole. But don't worry, it's not a death trap because there's slime box at the bottom. Not a problem at all. So, all I've got to do now <laughs> is make a second infinity room here... <laughs> and they will be so confused. So confused. Hopefully both of them fall down here. But even if just one does it, I won't mind. And here's the thing. When they come down here, and this is all infinity room, even if they do find the way out, which is here, it's going to say, couldn't be bothered to make a way out. Although I'm feeling like I should just close this off. <laughs> the question I've just realised... The question is, everyone, how do I get out? And last one. Oh, you can fly out. All right, this, now this is going to be a challenge. Perfect. I think we're ready. I think we're ready for the meeting. All I've got left to do is add the last two maps and walk straight out. The infinity room is now complete. So now I can, as soon as Mumbo and Iskal get on, can have this meeting. But here's the thing, guys. I told you, I did some redstone. And I'm going to bet you about 20 green points that uh, Iskal and Mumbo are going to check the redstone that I did. Look at this shoddy, shoddy redstone. Uh, honestly, I'm not sure how it works. I managed to just take each piston at a time and it seems to work although oh this is oh this is an absolute shambles of redstone there's holes in it it's not flush it's not pretty it's an absolute mess and i'm not really sure where <laughs> where all the redstone goes but yes the point is i made this i i, I did it by myself i'm proud of myself and it works but I bet you 10 green points so that they're going to look at it and laugh at me, <laughs> which is totally fine because it I know it's bad, but I did my best. I did my absolute best. The last thing to do then is to remove this button so they don't see it coming. They're not going to just walk in and press it. And we need to finish off the parrot party room because this is this is um, this is just a little bit of fun for when we're having the meetings. And I thought I'd make it look a little bit nicer in here with some vines going down. We need to add uh, some ferns, and we've got to have a pickle in here. You know, we just got we got to have some decorations for the actual birds here, because you know, got to have a nice, got to have a nice area. There we go. That looks nice enough. And then we just close it up. Oh, oh. Why? Why did you decide? Sometimes these parrots forget that they're sitting. I don't know why, but they just forget to sit. It's actually really annoying. They just decide to follow you. And then we place the jukebox, probably. We really need it close enough so that they actually do it. All right, let's let's try. Yeah, it needs to be close. You see, only these two are, are dancing. In which case, the jukebox almost certainly has to go here. Let's see. 
Yeah, there we go. We've got we got all five dancing. I guess I just need to leave this bit open on the side, maybe, and then I can walk in, put the disc in, and then close up the door, no problem. But I think we're probably ready now once I uh, move this into place. Now, here's the thing, guys. You can't even warn Mumbo and Iskow about what's coming with this infinity room. You can't even let them know because I'm going to film it in the same episode that I set it up. So time to go and wake them up or get them out of bed or whatever they're doing. Let's get them on the server. Oh, and this isn't actually just a prank, by the way. We actually do need to have a meeting. We, we genuinely need to talk about what's going on with architects. I just thought I'd do this on the side for a bit of a laugh. Welcome to the meeting. Iskow and Mumbo. Good to see you back. Been a while. Where have you been? Where have you been? Who okay. are you talking to right now? Well, both of you, really. Okay, okay, okay. Iskow, do you want to go first? Where have you been? I Yeah, I've been around. I've been about. I've been doing some bits and bobs here and there. And, uh, mus Mustache Man, where have you been? Uh, yeah, I haven't been here at all. I've been a really terrible employee for Architect. I've actually been, I've been working on my own house, uh, as opposed to, like, the Architect project i i apologize for that so you haven't uh, seen this room no i haven't seen any of this stuff i kind of came by and i i yeah i i've been pretty blown away by some of the things that you guys have been working on while i've been gone i was actually pretty blown away as well i walked into this room oh, no. only oh. to realize oh, no. yeah this is our lead <laughs> architect that has built this and he's built it he, uh, he uh, how, how hard is it right to just center up I'm going to make the door room. two blocks bigger, and then you guys can <laughs> shush. <laughs> Let's get this meeting underway. Hold on, let me put the music yeah. on. I made this room specifically for meeting time. There we go. All right. Oh, cozy background noise. Let me see. I like it. <laughs> I just realized I don't even get to enjoy it either. I, <laughs> no, my you're my sitting seat. in the worst chair. I really <laughs> appreciate the chair that you gave me, Grian. Thank yeah, you. No problem. I mean, that is my chair, but I just didn't say anything. Oh. oh. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I I mean I I love I love the parrots in the background. It's kind of one of those distractions in a meeting that the yeah. boss will go, Alright, alright, let's not have it quite that funny today, lads. Let's move on. <laughs> right? And so I'm gonna move on from the beautiful okay. parrots. I got something that I wanna show you guys that I've been working on, that I've been dying to show you guys. Okay, go on. You ready for this? I worked out my, Nice. Mesmerized. So, so, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, yeah. What, what were you talking about, Iskal? You, you've just come back. You've done some business. Where? Well, I haven't been I listening have... at all. At oh, all. No. I have done a logo for Sahara because every successful business requires a logo. So check this out. I spent absolute ages on this. Boom. Oh. I've already seen this one. Oh yeah, sorry. That that's actually a, that's actually a graph of our growth. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> here, here's the logo. Boom. Oh, nice. Wow. That's so I much like better. I like the cactus. That's so much Bumbo better. Bumbo Cactoni returns on on Hermitcraft oh, my, season six. Yeah. Can we? Oh my goodness. <laughs> can we can add we a little cat? mustache on it? Why haven't we I done mean, that? I mean, that that would make it perfect. I, I I will have to play around with those ideas. Very oh, nice, I guys. I forgot to put my suit on. All right, I'm going casual this time. There we go. Okay. Wow. Casual Brian. Wow. Ca casual meeting. Mumbo. So you focus, shouldn't put it. Focus, you shouldn't focus, put it in focus. here. You you can't put it in the meeting room. Okay, it's as simple as that. All right. Well, we've got more secret matters to discuss. Okay. So What's secret happened? that my button didn't work. It's because I'm sitting in the wrong chair. Iskal, swap with me. Mumbo, go sit in your chair. Come on. Okay. 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 I've been working on this. I've been, I've been trying so hard. <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh no! no it's it's not, oh, for, good, for goodness sake! Mumbo. I came out of my chair to check what you were doing. There wow, we go. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. No. Nice. Welcome to the real. <laughs> you oh, for God! Damn! <laughs> oh, how did I not die? <laughs> how did I not die? How did he not was see? It? How did he not see the? Where am I now? <laughs> Oh, green! What the heck? Is this a secondary? Is this, am I in a sub infinity room right now? Did you guys plan this? I did. Hello. Mumbo. Come here, but come here. Yep. Come here. Dude. Yep. Come here. Yeah. No! 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 <laughs> oh. oh. 
Oh my goodness, this is so creepy. Welcome to my world, dude. Yes, <laughs> this is a new one. Uh, I'm going to join so. you. I'm going to join you. <laughs> D- so you've made <laughs> a new... Imp- d- oh. Oh. <laughs> why, why did I die? <laughs> <laughs> You're really strong. You took all your armor off you. <laughs> There's slime blocks underneath. <laughs> is it? There's slime yeah, blocks. I can did you hold it. shift? <laughs> that oh, is yeah, the most oh, yeah. hilarious thing ever. Did you hold shift? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I feel can... dumb. This was supposed to be... <laughs> this all went wrong. This was supposed to be my genius plan to put you guys in in a hole. Uh. Ooh, that was that was the best. That was absolutely hilarious. Oh, this Very is... nice. What the, what the heck? Take take that off. That's... Oh, wow. This is... Whew. Yeah, I'm close to personal <laughs> with is... the Greens now. Too look, much Greens. If, if I take it off, I don't... Look. My head gets bigger. <laughs> 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 yeah. I mean, Green complains that we haven't done much we're in not, the last few not, weeks, but, out of it. but this is what he has done. I mean, oh. Oh, no. <laughs> this is the most difficult thing oh. in the world. It's hilarious that Green is still down there, though. I'm the only one that's stuck. He can't fly out. Yeah. No, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Right, so, this is so, backfired to the max. I can't even see the difference in the color either. I can see it, but only yep. so slightly. I just want to say, <laughs> mm, for goodness sake. That, that, oh, oh, that, oh I made the rescue. You found it. <laughs> yeah, I found the exit. Uh-oh. Well done. Not- All right, maybe we should go back to the real meeting room. <laughs> no, and uh, promise me you won't go and look at the redstone that I did. Just, just promise me, okay? <laughs> Okay, I'm totally going to no, go and look at the redstone listen, that you did. Listen, it's not <laughs> after this. It's not worth it. I, I, I don't think we actually discussed anything, Sahara. To be honest, no, I, I was too no. busy trying to get you in the hole and dying and stuff. My bad. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yep. Well, um, I actually did provide a little like board here. Since um most of the building is pretty much done on my side, there's maybe a bit of interior work to do. I thought mm-hmm. what I would focus on is the marketing stuff, but the yep. problem is lads that i can't really market anything if you can't shop at sahara the hashtag shop at sahara doesn't work if you can't shop at sahara so maybe what we should do is just try and get like a couple maybe we should just sell sand just for the start because obviously sand just just (laughs) sand anything just a couple of blocks and then i can start the marketing you know getting in there and because then we're going to grow this business you'd be happy to hear that there is actually a functioning ordering system right now we just need the delivery system because i installed decoders so that our shop front is now speaking with our warehouse well, i mean hello. they're not talking english it's more italian but they are they are now talking which is they great <laughs> yeah we need we need the delivery rail though so maybe in order to progress them we need to decide where we put this rail down with the minecart because i personally want it to be a visible thing straight through the middle straight through here big big pipe goes in here then goes straight okay. in uh, uh, yeah. i'll happily work on that 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 would be easy i was expecting you to give me some technical like just be really delicate with it have beautiful <laughs> support structures and things and you've just gone straight out the front into big, the back <laughs> big down. Yes, big tube big <laughs> tube so this is the sh- this is the front thing. If I throw in one cyan terracotta, you will see the first light go on, indicating that Sahara has now learned that you've placed an order. Yep. And if we wait, this is really cool, guys, okay? I'm proud of this one. Yep. <laughs> if we wait, it will light the second light up as soon as it reaches the warehouse. So any minute now, I try... There we go. Yeah. Yep. Oh, it's yeah. reached the warehouse. And now it's picking the right slot, and it picked it. Boom. And now that's that's it so far. Okay, wow. so the, that's the that's fourth... still impressive, but like, how does if I'm a customer, how do I know what it's doing? Will we, we put signs? Like we'll put here? signs. Yeah, one fourteen is coming out, and we can dye signs, which would be great for Sahara. Think about okay. it, like dark oak signs with white text. Can we Sounds put good. some like little things here to do if they're waiting for their order? Like mini that games, like mini basketball games hoop. or you know, yeah, yeah like basketball hoop, luck, be... luck based stuff. I don't know. I like that. I like that idea. That's good. I was thinking a song. Elevator music. Like dogs. You know? No, that's quite stressful. 
We can we can oh, yeah. we can do a combination of everything. Oh yeah, just play the Jaws theme tune. I like that idea. Oh uh, yeah. um, man, can we can we do the Zelda thing like? When your order arrives. <laughs> but okay, we could make. We could hum theme tunes all day long. I think it will both drive the viewers crazy and also I've, I mean we've we've finally found a reason to keep Green in Sahara once the building is done. Yeah. Green I, just I'm just going to oh, yeah, yeah. Let's just let's <laughs> just, just place him yeah, here. No, no, uh, no, I, I'm, I'm five steps ahead of you dude. Like I yeah. I'll just live in here. So, yeah. Okay, let's try it. <laughs> I, I want to try this. But I'm ordering now. Da, 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 no, 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 Green, you need to sound like you're behind glass. Who needs redstone when you have green? <laughs> yep. yep. Amazing. That'll be two diamonds. Right. <sighs> <laughs> okay. That is totally worth two diamonds. I'm actually going to take them out. That came out of the... Uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, so, is there anything left to discuss or are we just going to keep humming tunes all day? Is no, that I, think, I think that's pretty... Like, I'm actually surprised at how close we are to opening, actually. Yeah. Yeah. No. So, do we have to stock up on... Are we going to sell sand to begin with? Yeah, I think that's a great idea. I'm Mumbo not going to mine the tube it. Done. But... Yep. I'll get the yep. I'll get the sand. Yep. It's gonna do the the redstone stuff, make it work. Yes. Okay. Mhm. Mm and then All right. we've got to do a grand opening at some point. A really. Oh, we big we have to have thing. an event. An event. Red carpet, drinks. People come in, and we can have water bottles. Yeah, I like that. People Ariana come in Grande and on the mingle. stage singing. Yes. Something. Yes. Yep. All right. <laughs> sounds like a plan, guys. It sounds like we're right on track. Well, my meeting did not go to plan. I ended up dying. They weren't meant to die. I ended up no one was meant to die. There was meant to be slime blocks, but I ended up I ended up losing my life and all my levels and stuff. And somehow I've now ended up with 10 green <laughs> green heads. Oh, that went all kinds of wrong. But I did make four diamonds. <laughs> all is not lost. So I I'm actually feeling really good now. We've got a bit of a plan. We are a lot, lot, a lot further on than I thought. All the redstone there is done. All the redstone here is done. We have no stock yet. But if Mumbo makes this big tube that goes over here, Iskow links it up, we actually have a functioning shop as long as we stock it with something. And of course, the first thing has to be sand. Iskow went ahead and made this, which is the original one. And I said... Look, it is really cool, but I said, I just thought that Concorps looked cooler, and he was a bit like, oh. But then he agreed, and then he made this, which is so cool. All we gotta do is go and put a moustache on it. What colour moustache? I, I don't know, but we, we've definitely gotta put a moustache on this, and that will make it, oh, that will make it so much better, in my opinion. In other news, looks like someone, and I think I know who, Good Times with Scar has made a train station. I, I, I assume it's the train station. And this is part of the Hermit Rail Network, which is insane. I think it's a rocket. So I don't know how that is going to get up there. That's going to be quite a, quite a difficult challenge, I think. So good luck to Scar. Mumbo's still wearing my face. <laughs> While we're at Sahara... I feel like we should take a good old peek at what our man, poultry man, <laughs> is up to. So let's take a look down the telescope because this is a magical telescope, you see. It's made out of magical wood and it just shows me exactly where he is. So let's go and have a look. Oh, he's on the beach doing his... Wait, he's... What's he? What's he... What's he looking at? Is he... What? What is he going to look at? Okay, so he's having a look up in the distance somewhere. Where? Ah, someone has called him. Dearest poultry man, turtle man is in need of eggs. Chicken eggs, you will be rewarded. Well, there's a 
Someone's built a giant egg for some reason. Well, if that isn't some kind of poultry man signal, I don't know what is. The question is, is poultry man going to respond to the call? Well, he certainly can- no, no, he's definitely- he's definitely going- there, there he goes. Poultry man to the re- oh, he's- he's even there. Okay, so, instead of just giving eggs, he's just- he's just spamming chickens. But poultry man, that's- uh, you do you, poultry man. You do you. Huh, well, what do you know? Poultry man has, uh, saved the day yet again, although I'm not entirely sure that's what was needed. <laughs> I can't believe that they were really upset that the door's not centered, and now it's really upsetting me, so I think we're gonna have to shift this door over just one block. There we go. Problem solved. I probably should have done that the first time around, but I didn't. Well, I think that's enough Sahara stuff, because there's not a lot for me to do now. Like I said to the other guys, most of my stuff is done. The building here, the building there, there's, you know, a bit of interior work still, but for the most part, we've got a functioning building. I have actually started uh, completing this up here, because as you know, Sahara is a green company, and we're going to operate entirely off of wind power. And, uh, yeah, I've been making this for a little while now. I need to actually finish this because it's it's actually di more difficult than you would think to, to make a big turbine. So, yeah, I'm going to finish this off at some point and have Sahara be completely green, unlike those uh, Concorp fellas. So, I think now we need to continue working on the Elytra course because this is very exciting and I haven't done nearly enough on it. So, the Elytra course hasn't changed since the last episode where you've got to go this way, through here, still haven't done that. But I know the course so far and it, I, I think this is actually quite a nice challenge because if you do anything like that, you take a bit of damage, you get a penalty point. So, we're going to go to the right and hopefully go through there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build probably the next three or four rings that you've got to go through and then we'll test this again. But the vague idea is to take this course kind of around the island. Of course I want to take it round the island but I don't really want to have to put the rings somewhere where it, it really kind of ruins the build. So I would love to take it round this area through the industrial district but I don't want to put a ring like slap bang in the middle, which could potentially ruin some of the build. So I've got to be really careful and I've got to think hard about what I want to do. Actually, going through this valley would be awesome. I didn't even know this was here. Well, I'm getting all kinds of ideas here, but I definitely need to take the Elytra course around the island through the most interesting parts. Maybe even through the old war. Wow, it feels like such a long time ago that we had the Hermitcraft Civil War. That's crazy. Well, anyway, I'm gonna crack on with the Elytra course and I'll be back with a few more rings to go through. I've added three or four more rings, like I said I would, and I've got an idea of where I want to go next. So let's do this final run through. We go straight down and I'm gonna work out where these arrows are going to go a bit later on. I've added this ring in and I've made these a bit tighter spaces to get through. This should be a really fun course, and because it's so long, there's lots of ch chances to mess up. Right, so, you go through that ring there, which I've linked up between that tree and this thing that Doc made. I'm not sure I ever actually looked at this. Um, NHO something or other. Well, anyway, there's a ring here. It then goes through this direction, through this tree, which is also just a ring. Now, this is where it gets confusing, because there's just a little cave entrance at the moment. I haven't got time in this episode to do this, but basically, I'm going to hollow this whole thing out. I'm going to make this a really decent-sized cave, decorate it and everything. So you've got to pretend like we're inside right now. We're going through this mountain, and it's going to turn right and come out here. So you can imagine that's quite a lot of excavating to do. And I've started adding the beacon there, but it's gonna come out through there. You can see I've got, yeah, got the beginnings of a beacon. So imagine that I've done that. We're going to exit right there. And then there's a really difficult part where you've got to go through this ring here. So you can see that I've added it, sort of like had it go off the side of that and it kind of just curled round into a ring. Now that is an awkward shape to fly through, but that's not the difficult part. The difficult part is you have to pull up very quickly because there is a mound there that I'm not getting rid of. I didn't I didn't make that, it was naturally there, but you gotta pull up, which 
then is up for debate. But I know that I want to head this direction. I want to head over to the industrial district, as I said. But I'm thinking what I do, maybe go another cave here. But I want to go through this, as I said earlier. And then I will make my way over to Concorp, which is just through here. Now, I'm probably going to have to speak to Cub and Scar. No, Cub mainly, because this is his base. I'm going to have to ask him where it's okay to make some circles, because obviously this is a big base, but I'm sure we can make it so that it's really, really cool. Even Maybe even Cub would be up for making this part of the Elytra course. I don't know, but I'll speak to him and then find out. But I'm afraid that is all we have time for today. It has been a very busy episode with that meeting. It was a very important meeting because we now know where we're at and how close we are to opening Sahara. But anyway, thank you very much for watching everyone. And it turns out that actually saying to everybody that makes it to the end of the video that if you do subscribe, I would be very much appreciate it. It turns out that actually did work. A lot of people subscribed simply because I said, hey, I don't do this very often. Do you mind subscribing? <laughs> so if you do feel like subscribing, let me know. Well, no, don't let me know. Just subscribe. See you later. Bye.